Cleveland, LeBron James was on each of the previous two Cavaliers teams to win 13 consecutive games, in 2009 and 2010. And he was the hero again in Wednesday's 101-95 victory over the Sacramento Kings to give the current Cavs their 13th straight triumph, tying the franchise record he helped set years ago. Only this time around, he's doing more of his damage from beyond the three-point arc, punctuating his improved shooting this season with a tray with 16.6 seconds left to grow the Cavs' lead from 2 to 5 and effectively end the Kings' night. The three was James' fifth of the night. He went 5-4-8 from deep, even better than his sharpshooting teammate Kyle Korver, who went 4-4-8, to lift his three-point shooting average to 43.0% for the season, a career high. The previous best mark for the 15-year veteran was 40.6% in 2012-13 with the Miami Heat. When the Cavs were off to those win streaks in 2009 and 2010, James shot 34.4 and 33.3% from deep, respectively. I just wanted to continue to improve my game, James said of his increased marksmanship this season. I try to get better and better each and every year, and shooting the ball is what this league has kind of turned into, so for me to continue to improve, that's what I wanted to do. I put a lot of work into my off-season training and I just try to implement it into the season once it gets here. Two-time MVP? Stephen Curry, widely credited for the three-point revolution that the entire NBA has embraced, is shooting 38.1% from three this season, for comparison's sake. It was James' ninth game this season with three made threes or more out of 25 games. Last season, James hit three threes or more 17 times in 74 games. His dagger three on Wednesday came on the same play call that freed James up for a game-winning 21-foot corner jumper in Game 4 of the 2015 Eastern Conference semifinals against the Chicago Bulls to not the series 2-2. That play, which James revealed came to be after he scratched the original plan that former Cavs coach David Blatt had drawn up with 1.5 seconds left that would have had James passing the ball in from underneath the hoop rather than shooting it, has since been dubbed Chicago by the Cavs coaching staff. Coming out of a timeout with 20.6 seconds left in the fourth quarter and clinging to a two-point lead against the Kings, James asked for Chicago again. Was going to run a different play, and then Braun said, I want Chicago. So I said, OK, said Cavs coach Tyron Lu. We got it to him and he made a big shot. That was a huge play for us to put us up five. What are James' options once he receives the ball when Chicago is run? Shoot it, James said with a smile. I mean, I don't remember the exact time in Chicago when I made that shot, but it was very low. We drew that up on the fly and Deli Matthew Delavidova gave me a great pass, and I was able to raise over top of Jimmy Butler and knock it down. And ever since then, it's been called Chicago. But I mean, I have other options, but tonight, with five seconds on the shot clock, it was up to me to try and make a play and I was able to do that. The shot against the Bulls was a catch-and-shoot with James' foot on the three-line, thus only counting for two points.